心残りは一つあるお前の夢の果てを見れねえことだ So hey guys Chaucer here Time for another Ace showcase now after his his bug was fixed basically it was very annoying to get his second burn carry it over and ignoring full immunity stuff like that uh, in Ace special he also cuts your HP by 95% and uh, his EX tries to remedy this this is going to be an EX showcase for Ace his EX nullifies any damage past 5,000. It says portion of it, but it you will see in the video it just nullifies past 5,000. So that's pretty good. What's not good is the insane requirement. You need three specific units, and like there's a lot of units, but if you look at them, like more than half of that you're not going to use at all. So it's basically like Whitebeard, Marco, maybe Vista, Iso, Roger, Luffy, Sabo. Another issue is with the captain ability, ace only boosts shooter and striker and like try and count all of the Luffy striker shooters, like you can do it on one hand. So it's very hard to build for the EX, like it, it's basically a bonus, but I feel like the EX is so niche with the damage reduction that they should have made it more easy, easily usable. Anyway. Two teams to use it and I use it quite well and we'll also see some other things with Ace so yeah look forward to it and as always when you want to try and do some survivability one of my go-to content is uh, Colosseum page one which we're doing right now uh, I'm speeding up the stall process a bit the video was a bit long anyway need to stall out the despair here as well so yeah, for this team, I actually run double ace. I thought it would be fun to try it, but I doubt I'll ever do it again. Double ace is a pretty bad meme, to say the least. Uh, anyway, here, basically, uh, the EX requirement is filled by Roger Whitebeard. Well, both Roger and Whitebeard works. They only count, count as one, though. Uh, we have the Sabo, who has the Lucy Clothes, and we have the Luffy, the... Uh, we won Snake Man there. And we're going to use both Sabo and Luffy this stage. Uh, Sabo handles the special bind, gives an attack boost. Uh, Luffy removes the death up li with level limit break. And he also gives an ore boost and a chain boost. And yeah, he's so good after level limit break, this Luffy. Sadly, this Luffy is not striker or shooter though, but like all teams can make do without one of those. So as you can imagine, this will be quite an overkill. But as you see, using a special puts you at very low HP. And remember, in order for the damage threshold to work, you need to be above 5000 HP. So that's why I'm using this ship. Uh, this ship is a striker ship. Uh, the Grudge Dolph, I think it's called. I have it level 12. It was my first level 12 ship. Bad decision, but whatever. And it actually heals you 2,000 extra HP, which is huge. And if you add some pinch healing to that, which Morley and Luffy has, you can get about that 5,000 threshold, which is, of course, required. Otherwise, like, we die here if we weren't about 5,000 HP. And as you see, it stops at literally 5,000, which shows this is a 5,000 HP threshold, which is pretty cool. And yeah, now on to final stage. And yeah, I figured I had so much damage with this team, I thought, let's try and not remove attack down. Like, Colos don't have the mu that much HP anymore, so I figured it would be feasible. Like, Roddy Wiper is going to give us a lot of damage here with the Super Swap. And then Roger buffing both the Color Affinity support we had, as well as the attack boost. And then when we use Ace, we add a Conditional on top of that. Uh, you can actually use this conditional to ignore resilience, but that has its own issues, which we'll be look at in the next team. But yeah, that's obviously a lot of damage, so... And we also have that insurance of Roger Ode, Roger Wipeard final tap in the end, like hitting against color affinity and all of that. Morley removes the threshold, 
but Morley is really just here for that pin shielding. Because look at how low HP we are, like I use the EX now to survive uh, the death hit on this stage. Like it's an 80k death hit, I don't remember exactly. But yeah, not even with the ship we can survive that, we need a double pin shielding to have enough HP. And yeah, we didn't need Roger Wiper, so that's cool. Just above 5000 HP, which lets us tank this easily enough. So yeah, moving on to the next team, let's take on some harder content. This is one of the hardest arenas in the game, Hawkins. And I built another Mono Striker team here. And yeah, this one is a bit weirder. Well, I say Mono Striker team, but obviously Little Crew is not Striker. But we go back to what I talked about before, like finding three Striker shooter that are good, that fit Aces. EX, and then we also have the fact that we actually need to build a team that works. We can't just find three good units with EX that are striker or shooter. Like, no, it doesn't work like that. But uh, I do showcase one thing. This is some, one thing many people don't know about with both EX and Super Tandem and such. Like, Luffy, Ace's requirement is Luffy. So you can actually use both the friend captain and a main team member for that. So in this case, we have two Luffy and one Whitebeard. Many people think you need only one of each, both for Super Tandem and EX, but two works. Like, it could have been two of the same as well, it doesn't matter. That's enough to fit the requirement. So yeah, ship plus support means two turns of attack down. And that means attack down will be gone for the next stage. But honestly, we do so much damage next stage, so I wonder if we could have hit through the attack down there. We're not going to try it though. I'm going to be able to kill this stage to attack down though. Wiper has a lot of buffs, especially with that Shanks support, which keeps being pretty useful. And yeah, uh, Yamato Luffy resists spine. It is very <laughs> weird to use this Yamato Luffy, like when did you last use it? Like after Gear 5 releases, I a lot of reason to use them. I, I prepared the super swap though, so yeah, we use Ace to change the block orbs, we also get a uh, burn conditional of course. And my plan here was basically to combine this with Uta, so we have the Uta's attack and orb boost final stage, we have the burn conditional final stage as well, but you will see it doesn't quite work like that because I decided to make use of Ace's EX here. So. Basically, we're going to get through the resilience with burn, which you can do. The only issue is that when you do that, you also have to take a hit. And obviously, we die by taking a hit here, usually. So that's why I use the EX as an insurance, that I can't take more than 5,000 damage. So yeah, that blocked it, and we killed. But look here, this makes a turn pass, which means that if you use haste to... Uh, bypass uh, resilience, <laughs> uh, you won't get another turn of his burn conditional on the final stage. Like, it's not a super surprise for me that it works like that. I knew that somewhere inside here, but it's hard to always keep full tabs on everything. But yeah, anyway, I use some support here to reduce CD on the crew. Wiper removes the spear, gives us a very nice chain boost here. Luffy crew extends all our Uta buffs, as well as the chain boost from Whitebeard. So that's actually uh, pretty cool because we also get the unchangeable orbs, so we can ignore uh, the poison orbs final stage. It's a shame we couldn't fit a call affinity to extend as well, but as you'll see, this will still be a pretty easy kill. I haven't even used Luffy Yamato yet, and you might wonder what they will do. And basically, in duo form, Luffy Yamato does a two times increased damage taken through full immunity, which is still super strong to this day. And that will easily make up for the lack of call affinity. Like, we get call affinity, but not for Whitebeard, only quick unity. And yeah, I decided to style a bit on Hawkins and finish with Luffy Crew Final Tap. It wasn't needed, we did easily killed. But yeah, that's my. EX showcase for the Exchange Ace Legend. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys. 
see you next time.